this works with all goals. All you got to do is start with the end in mind. A lot of us think, no, you got to start with step one. That's true. But the start of the plan is starting at that finish line and working backwards to reverse engineer it. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I didn't know how crucial this quote was until I had an opportunity last night to be able to speak to a bunch of people. What I usually do when it comes to practicing before a presentation is I'll, I'll hit up my phone. I'll put it right here. I got my little spotlight right here and I'll just record myself giving my speech. This one last night was for two minutes and I was condensing one that I usually do. That's about 15 to 20 minutes long down to that two minutes. And I kept hitting the two minute and 34 mark. Every single time it was right around there. And I'm like, I can't go over. I need to shrink it down. So I pulled up ChatGBT and I'm like, what the heck can I do? Because ChatGBT is a wonderful and great friend that I have these days. And it gave me some suggestions. And as I looked at my two minute speech, I realized that there were some things that didn't need to be in there, but also that it was missing something. And as I wrote it down, pen to paper, ChatGPT was on the side. This was pen to paper, wrote down exactly what I wanted to say. I crossed out a few things and added one more thing. And as I rehearsed, I hit that two minute mark. And I thought planning is so important. Obviously practice is important, going out and having the experience. But even before that, you got to one, create it in your mind, which is imagination, one of Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich principles. But even after, even before like you take action on that imagination, you got to have the blueprint. You got to be able to know what you need to do. And putting that pen to paper, I realized that as I planned, I was planning to not fail, but I planned to succeed. And today I want to share with you something that as you're going for your dreams, as you're trying to reach that goal, that finish line that you're aiming for, I want to share this principle that has been applied to my life that I've used so many times and that can hopefully help you as well. The principle is this, be the GPS of your dreams. Each of us have that app on the phone. Android, you got Google Maps. Apple, you got Apple Maps. But you click on that app and it opens up the page. What is the first thing it asks you for? Everyone knows. Where are you going? Where the heck is your destination? Then it asks you for a second thing. Now, for most of us, most of us don't know what that second thing is because it's automatically put in there most of the time. It's where we're at right now. How in the world can we get to where we need to go if we don't know where we're starting at? That's like standing in the middle of, uh, not standing, you wouldn't stand in the middle of the ocean, sitting in a boat in the middle of the ocean by yourself. You know that you want to go to, let's say, France as you're sitting in the Pacific Ocean, I think is, is it. But if you don't know where you're at in the ocean, you can paddle as hard as you want. You can take as much action as you want, but there's no way that you are going to get there without knowing exactly where you are to solidify the direction that you need to go. So I wanna share with you three different ways that you can become that GPS for your dream. That first one is what we already talked about. Define your final destination. Your final destination, that's the dream, that's the goal, that's that finish line, that's that ultimate satisfactory desire that you have that you want to accomplish. And then once you hit there, you can say to yourself, I am a success. Now, how do you get that? How do you define your final destination? Well, first off, you got to you gotta visualize exactly what you want. You got to get very deep with it. You got to go to the physical side. Do you want to, like you and your body, do you want a six pack? Do you want to look healthy? Do you want to be full and energetic? Or do you just want like a like a keg, like this beautiful being that you're looking at right now? Mentally, are you wanting to read like 50 books a year? Are you wanting to uh, have just these wisdom quotes and all this experience just in your mind and you're just mentally stable? Or are you wanting to be the king of movie quotes? On the spiritual side, do you want a relationship with yourself, 
You want a relationship with your God. You want a relationship with people around you. On the social side, you want to be a great communicator. Financially, do you want to be financially independent or do you want to be poor the rest of your life? Right? As you define what you want and become very clear, you get to where you need to go. Now, those were very surface level, surface level desires. But we got to even go even deeper. I want you to do this with me. Imagine your dream house. What do you envision? Is it a cabin in the woods? Is it a little house right next to the, on the beach in the ocean? Or is it this mansion in one of your, your favorite cities that you love to go to? Go even deeper. What color is the house? Is your driveway, does it go for a mile? Or is it one of those circular ones to where you don't even have to back out of your driveway? You can just go right around and pull, pull on to where you need to go. Do you have grass? Do you have gravel? What kind of flowers are in your garden? Is your house full of bricks? Is it full of panels? What is it? Like, this is how specific we want to get. And as you become more specific, it narrows down the possibilities of the directions you need. And as you become more clear and more concise, that's how you're able to, one, define your destination and get to where you need to go. Now, obviously, that's not everything that you need because everyone imagines what they want. The poor and the wealthy both imagine themselves being rich, but only one of them is. So then it goes to the second part of you got to you got to assess your current location. You got to know exactly where you are. This one's hard. It really is because you got to have a reality check with yourself. You got to become very self-aware because I don't know if you guys do this, but I do this a lot. Whenever I go out to networking events or family reunions, I walk up to the, those people and I say, Hey, how are you doing? They're like, good, Willie, how are you doing? And I'm like, Oh, doing better than good. Now that's just a phrase I use all the time. Better than good, better than most. I got that from Les Brown. But like day, there are days where I'm just not feeling good, but I'll still say that I'm good. Am I lying to people? Yeah, in some form I am. When it comes to accessing your current location, you got to be real and you got to be raw with yourself. So you got to ask the question, how, how is my life right now? Is my relationship with my spouse really going as good as I tell other people? Or are there some complications? On the physical side, am I actually healthy? Am I going out? Am I am I uh, doing the pull ups? Am I am I feeling the the muscles and the energy, or am I just kind of lazy and just want to sit around? When I go out and want to socialize, am I putting on this persona of being this extrovert and just loving it, or am I really just kind of more of an introverted person? To where I'm able to go out and be energetic, but then come home and just love the quiet time that I have to myself. To figure out where exactly we are, we got to ask those hard questions. Where are we at right now? To be able to figure out to where we need to go. Now that we know our final destination, now that we know where we're at, we have that gap in between. How do we fill that gap in between? That is the third thing. This is planning your route. This is where we go into strategic planning, and this is where we reverse engineer the goal, which I'll talk about in a second. But like I said before, if you, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I don't think any of us fail to plan. None of us want to fail in life, but we all know that it's needed for success. So a lot of us high achievers, champions, legends in our field, we want to fail fast and fail forward. And by doing so, we're able to get that success that we want. But that doesn't mean that we're clumsy everywhere we go. That doesn't mean we trip from side to side to side. It simply means that we have a plan and we're failing forward in it by making those mistakes and getting the experience that we need to be able to get out what the desired outcome is. And so when we go into planning, when we go into planning that route, one of the easiest ways that I've found in my life is taking that goal, that end result, that final destination that you're working on and starting there. 
reverse engineering it back. And then afterwards, you have this clear and fine plan that you can follow. One of the clients that I work with, that I worked with, uh, he had a goal. And his goal was to get a girlfriend. Now, this wasn't like, you know, uh, super motivational of being like, I want to own the Jets. I want this Fortune 500 company. He's just like, nah, I want a girlfriend. And I'm like, cool, unique. I've never done that before, but let's do it because I, I believed in the plan and I believed in these principles and I know that they work. So we started at the top. You wanted a girlfriend. How do you get a girlfriend? Well, you got to be dating a girl. Super simple. Awesome. How do you how do you date a girl? Well, you got to have a girl that's a friend. Cool. How do you get a girl that's a friend? Well, you got to have girls in your friend group, right? Cool. How do you get girls in your friend group? Well, you got to have a friend group that you go with, that that you uh, surround yourself with. It's like awesome. How do you have that? That branched off into two different ones. The first one was going to events, going to where people are to where your friends are to where the girls are so that you can get to know them so that you can date them so that you can eventually become a boyfriend and girlfriend so boom we put a pin in that going to events the other side branched off to communicating and talking with your friends from there we branched off into two into to two lines the first one of how do you talk to your friends is you got to have a life you got to have self-belief you got to have self-confidence you got to be doing stuff you got to love yourself so we put a pin in that and then the other one is the skills the skills of communication asking questions being able to listen so the skill of communication boom we put a pin in it so as he wanted that girlfriend we use reverse engineering to go from that top of having a girlfriend all the way down to three steps that he can do right now to start on that track to get a girlfriend and that is going to an event where his friends are at that's self-love having a life doing things that he loves to do and that third one is the skill of communication and my client and i were able to figure out a few different things that we can do in more specifics and he had a set plan that he could act on and he was able to take immediate action on it this works with all goals all you got to do is start with the end in mind. A lot of us think, no, you got to start with step one. That's true. But the start of the plan is starting at that finish line and working backwards to reverse engineer it. So as I wrap this up, to be the GPS of your dreams, first, you got to define that final destination. Second, you got to assess your current location, where you're at right now. And then third, you got to plan your route. Start at the finish, reverse engineer it, and you get that clear plan that you need to take to be able to take the action you need to. So my call to action for you today is this. I want you to take five minutes after you listen to this, and I want you to figure out what your goal is and reverse engineer it. Because if you do, you're going to have so much more clarity than you have had before. And that passion, that burning desire that comes out from that motivation and from the planning will help ignite you to go forward into that destination that you want. And you will become a success. Continue to believe in yourself. Continue to take action. And always remember, if you fail the plan, you plan to fail. <laughs>